Well, when you think of beavers, your first thought probably is that nature's firefighters. While some call them pests, they play a very important role in our ecosystem that can even prevent wildfires. CBS 13's Kayla Moeller explains the state is now taking notice with the beaver restoration program. But since we've sort of realized that beavers are more than just a pest, we're starting to really take notice of all the things they do for us that are helpful. Also taking notice, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. They're working to restore beavers' habitats to aid in drought and wildfire resistance. Beaver wetlands are uniquely resistant to the effects of drought and then subsequently the effects of wildfire. For generations, beavers have been classified as a nuisance. Hundreds of permits are sought after each year by landowners to allow them to kill beavers. Their knack for engineering doesn't always agree with human engineering. We like to build roads and houses. They like to flood everything and chew down wood. And while that can be annoying, it is the flooding and the tree chewing that gives you those benefits like drought and fire resistance. As we build more and more in California and in other states, we actually are eliminating wetlands and the beavers try to put them back in. Without beavers, we could face total degradation of our riverscapes, causing more wildfires. In fact, research is showing their work is helping to prevent wildfires altogether. And that's why the DFW is turning to beavers as a helpful tool. They are now recognized for their benefits to the environment and to many other species. I've been studying this for the last 10 years or so, using satellite data and field visits to go out and find these places where beavers have been engineering and see whether or not they burn during wildfire. Pretty much across the board, they're not burning. Beavers create patches of fire refugia, places that either don't burn at all or burn at a low intensity that's actually helpful for a variety of plants and animals. And the patches are fireproof in even our most intense fires, like the Beckworth and Dixie fires. We're going to be seeing forests that have completely burnt. So the pine trees are burnt from roots to tips. The soil is pretty much just ash at this point, and it's silent. And then you turn the corner and you'll get to the beaver wetland and it's completely different. Even in Rancho Cordova, the presence of beavers helping the environment to thrive. They're dams creating a safe place for geese to nest and lay their eggs. And then it also creates a safe zone. So if there is a fire, animals have a place to retreat. In the beaver wetlands, you'll find lush green landscapes full of life. Beavers like to spread the water around, essentially creating a safe haven from a wildfire. And now with DFW's restoration program, beavers have a place to go. I'm really excited that they've done that. In the past, if um, somebody trapped beavers, they were killed. I mean, that was the only solution. Now, all of a sudden, Fish and Wildlife is saying, we are creating places where we want them released. Released where they can be helpful. And of course, officials say the best part about all of this is there is no cost to us. Of course, this is their natural instinct to do this.